Okay, so nothing good here as far as water chip info. We could try the hub. See what's going on down that way. We also have Necropolis is new. We're told to stay away from there for now, I guess. Oh, random encounter. You come across a herd of wild Brahmin. You feel there's something wrong. Oh, <laughs> moo, I say. Moo, moo, I say. Something wrong? Is it the fact that they're saying moo I say? So they're actually talking cows? Two-headed mutant cow. Gotcha. Well, it's been fun. Continue back to the hub. I'm guessing that's an Acropolis. Uh, to the south, you see a large city. Outlying farms surround the town. There's much life in this desert oasis. A lot of people here. Caravan driver, we're full, we're, f we're full. Yes, how can I be of service? Uh, what is this place? This is the hub. It's a trade center oops, trade center for the wastes. It's the biggest city I know of. You can find just about anything you could want here. And if you're looking for work, this is the place to be. Seems like just about everyone here is looking to hire you for something, be it legal or not. Can you tell me where I can find a water chip? A water chip? Wow, you got me on that one. I've never heard of one of those. Maybe you should check the general store downtown. They may be able to help you. Uh, what are all these carts doing here? These are the caravans. We cart goods to just about all corners of the waste. Junk Town, the Brotherhood, Shady Sands, and numerous other places. Necropolis and the Glow are the only areas we steer clear of. I'm heading this group and we'll be leaving shortly. The group across the street just arrived. Uh... What is it you trade? Hmm, lots of stuff. General stuff people need to live, food, water, lots of water. Water is probably the scarcest commodity in the waste. Where would I go to get a job? You can just about ask anyone here in the hub, or you can check one of the job bulletin boards. There are a few of them around the hub. Definitely more jobs than people here. Thank you, goodbye. I think that was most of the info. Uh, driver. Can't wait till we finish. Sorry, we don't need any more guards, I think. Let's hit the road. I'm ready to kick some butt. We're out of here. I hope we sell everything. Yes, how can I be of service? Uh, okay, I'm guessing this is a lot of the same stuff. Can you tell me where I can find a water chip? A water chip? Uh, general store. All these carts, caravans, all the pl Okay, it's all the same conversation. Uh, I really don't want to work today. Today is going to be a long day. Sorry, we don't need any more guards, I think. Okay. Police officer of the hub. Keep moving. Well, that's not very friendly. Oh, there is a door on this building. And somebody went ahead and opened it up for me. 
Well, hello there, my friend. Welcome to the hub. Let me introduce myself. They call me Dan the Brahmin Man. I wheel and deal with all the merchants around here, offering my humble services for a low, low price. So now, what can I do you for? I want to join a caravan. Well, I don't have any openings, but you might want to check with the big three. There's a job post in the merchant market that might be of some help to you. That's where they and the others get their men. Uh, you don't have any openings? Are you a merchant too? Well, no, not exactly. I work very closely with most of the smaller merchant groups though, and I know we're not hiring. So where's this merchant market? Just go straight down the road. It's smack dab in the center of the hub. You can't miss it. Alright, thanks. Time to do some testing on who's going to get angry when I loot stuff and open stuff. Like the door to, I'm guessing, his bedroom. Dan's wife. I'm not supposed to talk to anyone. Please see my husband. Well, that's not very cool. You don't have any good stuff anyway. Just getting rid of the shadow fog of war. Let's see here. The Brahmin man, Dan, the Brahmin man must love all these Brahmin. Looks like it might just be an empty place. Yeah, little shack. More fog of war. Go. So that's all outside. This is inside the town proper. We've got Deputy Fry and some police officers. Hello, friend. Deputy Tony Fry, your service. What is this place? Oh, a newcomer. Welcome to the hub. You've reached the biggest city on the coast. Heck, maybe the biggest city in the world for all we know. I thought you were part of the caravan. Did you come in with them? No. That's surprising. Oh, yeah. It's been pretty rough out there, especially with the missing caravans. But you're safe now. Just stay away from the Maltese Falcon. They're a bunch of troublemakers. Decker and his crew. Uh, who's Decker? He owns the Maltese Falcon in the merchant market. But I wouldn't associate with him if you want to stay out of trouble. He's nothing but a murdering animal. But the sheriff won't let me arrest him without proof. Okay, we just asked about his decker. What was that about missing caravans? It's a tragedy, really. Some caravans have turned up missing. Butch over at the Fargo Traders is offering a reward for information or something. You should check at the merchant market if you're interested. Okay. Where can I make some money? Why, that would be the merchant market. A few miles south of here. Two of the caravan houses are located there. The third is further south. I recommend the Fargo traders. They pay well, and they're not too crazy. Okay. Do you know where I could find a water chip? My vault chips malfunction, and we need another one immediately. Water chip? Well, I've never heard of one. If it has to do with water, though, you should talk to the water merchants. Their headquarters are located further south, past the downtown area. Okay. I have a crime to report. Do I, though? Where are the shops? That's hard to miss. It's by far the busiest part of the town. The merchant market is a few miles south of here. You'll be most interested in the northern section. That's where most of our locals buy and sell to the public. Okay. Uh, do you have a... Well, I'm not injured. That's probably good enough for now. Bye! So, do a little scouting real quick. Get some of these out of the way places. Fog of war type stuff. I hate dogs! Oh. Sorry. Maybe if I didn't have our dog, he'd uh, talk to me. Do you have anything? No. Okay. And we're stuck. No! 
There we go. Okay, so there is a section south of here. Got a couple buildings here. Ooh. Ian just likes to open up doors. This guy's fancy looking. Police officer of the hub. Keep your nose clean while you're in our city. We're here to prevent and survey. A lot of police officers. Visit the Maltese Falcon for refreshing drinks. Thought we were told to stay away from the Maltese Falcon. Move along, move along. Okay. Oh, there's another one we walked right past. I didn't even notice them. Those guys look pretty awesome. I want armor like that. But I don't think I want to kill them for it, so we won't. See Gunther. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Uh, could you tell me a little about the hub? It's a sprawling city, largest I've seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south. The other area is branching off in each direction from there. Where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch down by the Maltese Falcon. Just head on south from here. If I was looking for a job, where would be a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint on one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to the Fargo traders, but I've worked with all of them. Uh, could I ask you another question? Sure, what else would you like to know? Where can I find some ammo and weapons around here? Well, I buy most of the stuff from Beth over in the weapons store. Got a pretty good selection. What would I do if I was looking for something a little more exotic? I've heard there's some guy over in Old Town that deals with stuff with a little more punch. Okay. Another question. Have we asked him what he does? I don't think so. What do you do around here? I get by. I hire on with the caravans when I'm a little short on cash, and I work for the farmers down south a bit. Can I ask you another question? Who's the law around here? Well, you probably passed Deputy Fry on your way down here. His boss is Sheriff Green. You'll find him in the police station most of the time. Thanks for the info. Goodbye. Is that a door? That is. So we could get into the back room without alerting him, if there's anything back there to get into. Or Ian can just walk all the way through everything. In fact, we shut the door that he opened. Ian, what's with you and doors? Got anything in here? Nope. Very well. Is this a police station then? We got police officer, police officer. Move along, move along. We're here to prevent and survey. Nothing in any nothing in that room not even sure what this room was apparently we're blocked a little oh this one's obviously a bathroom okay rather empty building couple more down this way with some more fog of war stuff did we already come through here I don't think so trying to do it in a somewhat organized fashion I don't know why we would go all the way around Now he's just a farmer. But there's stuff on this table. Is there any actual stuff? No. Very well. Fog of war. Let's talk to the farmer. I don't need more water. Please leave. Oh. 
Oh, I need water. I hate dogs. Uh, except yours. This soil is so much healthier than it looks. Good morning to you. Okay. Well, let's check the next area then. Just kind of try to get a little general scope. Okay, this area is pretty big. I guess let's start from the left this time, work our way right. Can't scroll any further. However, I don't know if that's a limitation due to like the 1080p and all the stuff I had to kind of adjust, or if I'm supposed to be able to go up that high. Hopefully I'm not supposed to be able to. Because then there's potential stuff we're missing in other places as well. Police officer the hub. Move along. Oh, we've got some people hanging out. This is the Crimson Caravan. I did some work for them. They do a lot of high risk jobs. I'm not paid to talk. I'm not paid to talk. Demeter. And this is probably a case of we probably shouldn't loot their stuff. Hey there, how are you doing? The name's Demeter, Demeter Romera. Head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Yeah, so? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two, seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's a life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well. And we pay well. Oh yes we do. We just had a few new openings if you're interested. But of course you are, right? I need a water chip. A water chip? Hmm. Haven't heard of one of those before. You might want to check with one of the shops outside. They have lots of stuff. So, did you want a job? Well, what's it pay? We pay 600 hub bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? Of course I am. <laughs> uh. Hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan's leaving. Alright. Uh. We didn't save before this. Be too angry, please. But there was stuff in there. Oh, a lot of stuff. And they're not angry, it seems like. Now, this seems like a huge build. Oh, it's like connected. Maybe. This must be carry. So, that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must. Well, you must have balls of steel. I'm impressed. But we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month, on the 3rd and 17th. Can you handle that? We go to all the local hotspots. The Brotherhood of Steel, Junktown, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. And the pay? Our pay is the best. 600 scripts, and yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride. You're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders, or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave on January 17th. Are you interested? Maybe. Whatever. If you get the urge for some action, come back and I'll hook you up on the next caravan out. Yeah, like these people don't seem too mad that I'm rummaging through their stuff. Oh, these buildings aren't actually connected. There's a wall here. Gotcha. Uh, I can see, just barely make out the sign of general store here. Oh, it's even worse now. Gross. 
Okay, since this is an actual store, I think these are his, like, inventory. How am I help you today? I'd like to buy something. Great, here's what I have. A Geiger counter. A Watts Electronic C Rads model Geiger counter. Sex the presence and strength of radiation fields. Interesting. Got some cool stuff. Motion sensor. A Watts Electronic CU model motion sensor. Detects the movement of biological material over a distance of meters using a tuned radar device. Ooh. Some books and such. Psycho. Mentats. Stem pack. Super stem pack. Some rope. Water. Tool. A radio. Radaway. Flamethrower fuel. And a bunch of caps. We don't have a surplus of stuff right now. We have a few things we can trade. Mostly some stuff we just picked up. But we'll wait. What if somebody's selling a water chip? We might need some barter material. Now here's a question. Does this open up the shop? No. It's also got nothing in it and he doesn't get mad. At least doesn't get mad that I'm rummaging through it. Bunch of empties. Oh, the Maltese Falcon that we're told to stay away from. Uh, let's head through this little intersection. Maybe there's a guard here. Police officer of the hub. I wonder what happened to those caravans. Okay, we've actually branched off a little bit from my plan. Let's check out over here too. I think this is another one of those buildings that it's partially here. We can't seem to scan any further. Wow, there's more of that than I realized. Okay, so there's a path to the east. These are the Fargo traders here. Fargo Traders, run by Butch Harris. He's a Atne Utne Itbre, if you catch my brains. Or catch my drift. Not too bright in Pig Latin. Nothing there. He looks like he's guarding that door. See Rucker. And Fargo tr car Traders Caravan Driver. If you're wanting a job on the caravan, you should talk to Rucker. He's just over there. Hello, and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? Uh. Can you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it'll cost you. How much do you need, and where's it going? I need enough to supply a vault. It's up north past Junktown in the mountains. I need it all. Someday I'm going to transform the face of the planet. You'll see. I don't want to sound too crazy. Uh, it's up north past Junktown in the mountains. A whole vault? Are you nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've had enough missing caravans. Uh, you don't? Is there someone else who can? Oh, sorry. You're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Where would I find them? You can't miss them. They're south of here. All barricaded in with that damn water tower. So, what do you do around here? I'm in charge of the... I mean, I help run the Fargo Traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they answer to. We trade wares between all the different settlements. What sort of things do you trade? Why, we trade just about everything you can think of. 
chems, tires, guns, bullets, food, brahmin, dirt, even scraps of metal. Dirt? Scraps of metal? You'd be surprised at what's in demand out there. Something that's taken for granted in one place may be a highly sought after commodity in a settlement 10 miles away. Uh, sounds good. Do you need help? You're looking for work, are you? You look alright. Well, you should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Alright. Hi, Butch. What do you want? Ooh. Voice lines. In a face. I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? What job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. So, what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Uh, any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> something. But... I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh... You really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but but I don't know nothing about that. How do I find out about the Death Claw? How do you go talk to Beth? She knows more about that crap. I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. Sounds good. I'm also going to try to loot all your stuff if you have anything to loot. Looks like a bunch of no. Well, we didn't check the whole room. Eh, still a bunch of no. Uh, yeah, nothing really in there. Oh, this is the police station. It says police on it. Just making sure, yeah, police officer the hub. Oh, there's a back entrance. Uh Sheriff Justin Green. Deputy Kenny. If you have business with the hub police, please talk to Sheriff Green. I only take care of his duties when the sheriff is unavailable. Hello, sir. The name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Something I could do for you this fine day? You're doing a fine job. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in a city this size, but we do the best we can with what we've got. It's hard when the thugs have better firepower than you do. Okay, not much to say. I will point out we've seen more guards and police people than actual citizens. Is this locked? Yep, the door is locked. What about this one? Door is locked. But that one's an actual back entrance. As long as there's no guard watching us, maybe we can try. Okay, one for sneak. I think it's two for lockpick. Hey, you unlocked the door. Gain 25 experience points. Still in sneak mode. Stuff. Nothing. This door is also locked. You're not able to pick the lock. Once again, is that a skill thing? The lock is beyond your ability to pick. That one makes sense. Clearly tells me I cannot unlock it. You're not able to pick the lock. Kind of the same message. Oh, that time it worked though. So it is a percent chance. You're free, whoever you are. That might have been a mistake. I'm innocent. Well, now you're free. Let me 
do it all sneaky like. So no one ever knows. Ha ha ha. We'll have to come back there when our uh, lockpick's higher. And go back to some of those other places we tried to lockpick. Wait. Okay, so there's a spot to the east and the southeast. Also, is this a bulletin board they're talking about? Need work? Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. Caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependable. Special position. You must be observant, willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Acquired with Rucker at the Fargo trader's office. Okay. Kind of did that. You better keep your weapons holstered, stranger. Very well. It is. Unless I accidentally undo it. Not much in these buildings, however. Hey, we've heard of Bob's Iguanabits. Hi, ah, welcome to Bob's Iguanabits, the family eating place. Can I take your order? Uh, before we start going into the Dark Morbid stuff, let's try to get some information. What can you tell me about a water chip? Never seen one of them around here. Water merchants don't need them. Water merchants? You must be new in town if you're asking me about the water merchants. Water is life. And you don't get much more powerful than life and death. What can you tell me about Decker? Mr. Decker is a distinguished businessman in a less than distinguished business. Anything else? What kind of business? If there's anything that involves misery and suffering in the hub, Decker either controls it or wants to control it. Anything else? Uh, do you know anything about the missing caravans? Terrible business. Those poor people. Oh, those poor people losing their lives in such a ghastly way. Is there anything else I can do for you? Like feed you, perhaps? Anything interesting happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing is that the children of the cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Anything else? I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients. How fresh does a corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutants, humans, or a mix? Uh... Prime... Prime Choice Select is made of people! It's made of people! Uh, if you've got a memory loss, I could talk to the sheriff. We didn't actually find an invoice. I'll try to get him to admit it. If you've got a memory loss, I could talk to the sheriff. Don't do that. Fine. I've been using some questionable portions. But it's not like I'm committing murder. Doc Morbid's stuff is already dead, isn't it? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't care. I want a piece of the action. Fine. What do you want me to pay? Uh... I don't think I'll blackmail you. Carry on. Only because I don't want to... have to come back here every five days to get money. Fine. Maybe it'd be good if your past didn't cross again. Yeah. Let's not blackmail him. Let's turn him into the police. Maybe that's a crime. Police! I have a crime report. Well, spit it out. Uh... Sorry, I can't tell you. I'd be dead. We couldn't have that. But if you ever change your mind, please let me know. It's a dangerous place out there, and someone has to stand up for what's right. So apparently he didn't care. Just stopping by. See ya. 
Now, we haven't been in this building, this building, or this building. Let's check out guns. I uh, see a guard for the Fargo traders. These damn water merchants are ripping us all off. You want to talk to Rucker. This is the weapon shop, and it's run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. Got anything in here? No. Those are probably supposed to indicate her inventory. Hi there, how can I help you? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Don't be silly. What's the word out on the street about the missing deck caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn Deathclaw, or maybe the people over the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans to spear too. Nothing like what's happening in the Fargo Traders. But they're being affected. Uh, why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than the others? Uh, okay, bad luck. I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as a crimson caravan, but they might have better cargo than the water merchants. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. Water merchants could be lying, or could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along. That's not correct. Another question about the missing caravans. This is the same thing about why it'd be the three. Uh, why don't you think it's the water merchants? Let's try it from here. They could be lying, or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Good thought, but I highly doubt it. They've been sabotaging each other for years, but this is not their style. They wouldn't spend that much money to take out the caravans. Plus, all the caravans are very heavily guarded. You'd think someone would escape. They don't have the manpower or the cash to pull that off. There would have been at least one survivor. That's a good point. Another question. Why do you think it was the Brotherhood of Steel? Why, you don't know? I heard that they make human sacrifices and do all sorts of other terrible things. Really? I had no idea. You never know what a person's really like behind closed doors. You've got to be careful with who you associate yourself with. Is there anything else you needed? Uh, what exactly is a Deathclaw? The Deathclaw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. It's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world is engulfed in fire. Wow, do you know where it is? Yeah, pretty amazing, isn't it? It's down in the southwest somewhere. There's an old mutant in Old Town named Harold who actually saw this thing in its lair. Nicest skag I know. Anyone else you know who might have some information about the Deathclaw? Uncle Slappy over in Old Town talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Thanks, let's get back to the merchants. Uh, well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. They also run the City Council. What do you want to know about? Water Merchants. They're in charge of all the water. Greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst, and jobs are just as bad. Do they always control all the water? No. From what I've heard, a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged on for years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, Justin's grandfather, that's it, helped to negotiate an agreement at the end of the war. Uh, what kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. Oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them his boss. Thanks. Another question about the merchants? Crimson Caravan. The Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They'll do any job, no matter what the risk. 
I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than they are. They're missing caravans too? Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. They'll pass right through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay is great, but you have to be alive to spend it, right? Another question. Fargo traders. The Fargo traders pay well, and their jobs aren't too deadly. But Jones this shop, a good man. They're fair and let me do as I please with the place. I like working with them. Plus, you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. Oh, that's good to know. City Council. There are six representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. That's all. Thanks for the information. Uh, is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh, yes. You gotta stay as far away from the Maltese Falcons as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog cane are bad news. They'll eat you alive if you're not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Friendly, friendly Lending Company a wide berth. How does someone make money around here? Well, I'm not hiring, but there's a job post in the center of the merchant market. Might want to check out there. Or check there. Okay, thanks. Let's also look at our inventory. I don't know if we're officially working for the Fargo traders yet. Oh, I don't know if I wanted barter. I think. Well, maybe. We'll check. Uh, I want to buy something. I've got the best goods. What are you looking for? Okay. Yeah, then it is barter. Ooh, metal armor. That looks pretty fancy. Uh, club. Might be better than our spear, but we can't see numbers from here. Sledgehammer. Brass knuckles. That could be your unarmed skill versus your melee skill. Throwing knives and grenades. Shotgun. A better knife. And a bunch of caps. I uh, wish we had some comparison. Oh. Like one of those is 512. I don't know if that means we have a discount or not. And we're done. Oh, that's right. You're working for Butch. You get the 15% discount. So we are working for Butch. Okay, it was already applied before. It wasn't a after the fact be like, no, I spent all my money. But we're not sure if we want to buy anything yet. Oh. And then <laughs> it takes us into that screen. It's a little weird sometimes. Goodbye. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drop a save just to make sure. It's like it says, sometimes they don't care. That's the wrong button. Uh, yeah, sometimes they don't care when we enter other places. Hub. Checking. Access. Sure. Yeah, like in this case, she didn't care. Killian got super upset to the point where he got thrown in jail. Maybe Killian's hiding something. Eh, she didn't have any loot anyway. Didn't matter. Oh, I didn't even see this guy here. Uh, Beth, someone's here to see you. No kidding. <laughs> Sid, Beth's assistant. Okay. This must be the friendly lending company she was talking about. Psst, come here. So, what you doing in the hub? Uh, looking for something that I need? Well, we all got needs. I might be able to help you some of them. What sort of needs you got? I certainly don't need anything you might be talking about. 
No sweat off my back. Just seeing if I could be neighborly, like... Lemmy turns away. So he had a name. Lemmy. That... A pathetic loser. He has 10 hit points. Oh, just a shifty looking character. Okay. So he didn't know his name. Let's get rid of more Fog War stuff. Oh, there's a person in here. Erwin. Oh boy, can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems on my hand already. Problems? Maybe I can help you. Hmm, I don't know. It takes a different caliber hero than you. Listen, why don't you come back when you have a little more experience under your belt? Ooh, we need to level up. That's interesting. We'll have to remember that. Okay, there's also passage to the southwest, or is that just south? Oh, I didn't actually mean to enter that. Let's get out of here. Let's be a little more careful, maybe? Now we're in the area behind the Maltese Falcon. Not seeing much here. Okay, good. Didn't step into that area. Wasn't quite ready to explore over there. So these are the two air. Well, yeah. No, there's one more building we need to go into. And then it's the two areas we're kind of told to stay away from. You see Mrs. Stapleton, the librarian. Hi, welcome to the library. I don't think I've seen you around these parts before. What might you be looking for in the way of knowledge? Um, I'm looking for a water chip. Well, in my studies, I've come across some references to such things. Actually, I have in my possession a hollow disk that contains a certain amount of information that you might find useful. A hollow disk? What is that? A hollow disk contains information on it, but it can only be read by a certain number of electronic devices. I see that you have a pip boy. You can use that to decode, review, and store the information that a hollow disk contains. Sounds great. Can I have the hollow disk? Information is hard to come by in this day and age. I'll need to charge you 750 hub bucks for the disc. Uh. Now that looks like a worn hollow disc if I've ever seen one. I'll give you 500 for it. Probably better than torching the whole place down. And maybe we can get it a little bit cheaper. I'm sorry, but I can only accept the full amount for the hollow disc. Please return when you have that amount. Okay, we do have it. Uh, water chip. Hollow disc, what is that? Sounds great, can I have it? Sounds good, here's the money. Mrs. Stapleton takes your money. As I may have explained, you'll need to use this and then access the information through your pit boy. Mrs. Stapleton hands you the hollow disc. I mean, it costs 750 bucks, sucks, but it's a lead. Pit Boy displays downloading data from disk. You gained 100 experience points. File found on system, aborting download. Oh, so we just have to download it. Uh, data, vault locations. Vault locations, V34, yeah, bunch of revision stuff. Wow, this is actually a lot of info. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Western United States Vault Location Pamphlet. We hope you enjoy the pamphlet. Remember, vaults are not just for the upwardly mobile, but for everyone. Vault 12. Under the sprawling metropolis of Bakersfield lies the technological magnificence of Vault 12. Built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller, Vault 12 was given the Pressed Vault Suit Award for attention and preparedness. Buried far underground, the protection that vault dwellers will receive will be unprecedented. Much like all other vaults, Vault 12 has been fitted with the newest vault water purification systems. 
able to take even the waste located in the sewers of Bakersfield. This system is able to deliver over 15,000 gallons of pure, refreshing drinking water every day. Okay. So, Vault 12 is an option, but where's Bakersfield? Haven't even heard of that referenced. Especially if this happened before... Like, I'm sure the hub and junk town weren't called that beforehand. This is probably before the war, so, ooh. Okay. Vault 13. Located in the scenic mountainous region, northwest of Vault 12. So it'd be southeast of us. But how far? Uh, this vault offers an endless supply of pure water to the inhabitants. The rumors that the water table in the area could easily be contaminated in the event of a nuclear war have been found by the Department of Nuclear Water and Power to be completely unfounded. In the event that the water in the area were to become tainted, remote, even though it may be, Vault 13 has been fitted with a government-approved vault water purification system, rated to work without significant loss of output for over 250,000 hours. Prospective vault dwellers should have nothing to fear. And then Vault 15, we've been there already. Due east from Vault 13, construction on this vault has gone extremely smoothly. Much work is done to reinforce the walls at the third level of the vault, to make all the future vault dwellers more secure in the knowledge that in the event of even a major earthquake, the regulatory computers of the vault would continue to function. Recent tours of the newly constructed vault have had many a potential vault dweller walking away with a newfound awe of the improvements done to this already impressive vault. Considering that one caved in, kind of funny. So we need to find Vault 12 or Bakersfield. Good to see you again. What might you be looking for today? What do you have in the way books? Well, let me show you my selection. Uh, those aren't books. Those are. So those are other things we could buy. How much do you charge for books? 4,000. Okay, 1,300 is not as bad. 1,750. 2,000. Okay. Uh, we need a bunch of money for that. Thanks. And I'm sure we can't loot any of this. Yeah, it's probably all empty. Okay, friendly lending company. Let's see what's going on with them. Oh, that looks pretty secure. Pretty vault-like. Is there anybody else in here? Rifle through their desks. I see the one person it looks like. Wait. What were we trying to pick up? Interesting. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. But if you click on the side of a bookcase, you try to pick it up. And that door's locked, looks like it. I don't know how much weight capacity you need to be able to pick one of these up though. Or if there's even a point to it. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo. Uh, the Munificent. At your service. I give out loans, only 10% daily interest, a maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. Actually, I was hoping you could share some information. 
Sorry, I don't do rumors. Don't ask me again. Oh. Yeah, you're not very nice. Well, we don't need a loan, especially because we don't plan to repay it. Then again, maybe we could take out a loan and not repay it. Uh, we won't ask again about information. I came for a loan. Fine, you have no loans outstanding with us. We lend in units of 200 hubbucks, with a maximum of 1,000 hubbucks. Remember though, I'm not going to lend you the big bucks until you've proven you can repay the smaller loans. I'd like 200 hubbucks, please. Fine, 200 bucks. You've got 10 days to repay it. Let's repay it right now. Hi, so you've come to pay off your loan? I want to pay off my loan of 200 bucks. Fine, pleasure doing business. Anything else? Came for another loan. Fine, you have no loans outstanding with us. Uh, 400. Fine, 400 bucks. You got 10 days to pay it. And I want to pay off my loan. Came for another one. 600 bucks. Since we're doing it right away, we shouldn't have any interest, hopefully. And another one, 800 bucks. And pay it off. I should have looked at my money before we started this. Just to verify. Fine, 1,000 bucks. You've got 10 days to repay it. Let's see if it goes any higher. Paid it. Came for another loan. Yeah, 1,000 is the most it goes. And we'll never pay it back. Ha ha ha. I think, yeah, I think we're up there. I don't know what happens if we never pay it back. Also. Hey, hey, hey! Take your hands off that door, freak! My bad. Thought I was sneaking. Ah, now the Maltese Falcon is the place to be. Good music, good drinks, and good company. Very upset, Gambler. This table's jinxed. Bet it or beat it. Roulette dealer. Uh, 50? Winner, push. Okay. 50? Winner, push. Okay. 50? Winner, push. Okay. 50? Double push loss 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 winner push triple push push loss push Triple loss winner triple lose push push lose winner triple I feel like we did better in junk town double winner double okay now it's going our way Winner double, winner triple, push, winner triple, winner triple, and loss. So we gained some money overall. That could be just a way to farm money. Oh, we can't get there. Oh, someone's in the way. Oh, these are some crappy rooms. This is supposed to be a hotel. Oh, hello. Mercenary and a very pretty lady. I'll call the cops. What are you staring at? I don't think they like this bursting in on them. Empty bookcase. This is dangerous with their companions getting her away. 
Got a very pretty lady and a mercenary. She's mine. Don't even think about it. Ah, okay. I think the crash house is much nicer than this. Uh, who are you? I see a drunk. You're my bestest friend. Cool. Yeah, what do you want? Nothing. Yeah, we'll beat it. Kane. Yeah, Decker and Kane are what we heard of. Uh, I'm going to throw in a save. Mostly to end the episode and we'll resume with them next time.